This former OF model decided to leave her work behind in pursuit of a relationship with Jesus, only to realize that things aren't going the way that she thought they would. In a recent interview, she revealed an unexpected truth about Christianity that's tough for any Christian to swallow. So let's talk about it. So if you watched my previous video on this topic, then you saw that she was a pastor's daughter that ended up becoming a multimillionaire from making adult content on OnlyFans. She found herself in the top 0.01% of creators, making her one of the most successful in the entire world. And then her recent interview of Michael Knowles, she explained how her last talk with her parents went right before she moved to California to do adult content full time. And we were just out on my porch in my apartment and my mom didn't say a word to me the whole time when I was, like they knew I was moving the next day, but didn't say an, anything to me, wouldn't even look at me. And my dad was just kind of like trying to come to terms with it verbally, but I wasn't saying anything because I was like, I don't know what you're trying to work out here, but I, I don't like know what you want me to say. Like, um, I know you disapprove. I just want to know if you still love me. Yeah. But I didn't ask that directly. But the one thing that my mom said before they walked out the door was just like, I hope you're happy in your endeavors. And then just left. And it broke my heart, truly. Ooh. So. But she, she must have been in some immense pain. Absolutely. Probably, probably felt a bit of guilt. Uh, oh. Sorry. It's all right. That's very dreadful thing all around. Even though she realized that her decision broke her parents' heart, it was clear that she still wanted nothing more than for them to love and accept her. So she tried to stay in contact with them, and she said that this happened. I went three years without speaking to my mom. Like, there was absolutely no communication, and except for she did send me a letter, like an email, um, that was just saying that I had drifted far from God and that this wasn't his purpose for my life. And I was like, okay, thanks, appreciate that. Like, that's great. Um, I was very hurt by that because it just didn't feel real. I didn't feel like she was being real with me. I felt like she was judging me. And I don't deal well with judgment. I'm a very rebellious person when it comes up to judgment. Um, like, that's just kind of who I am sometimes, which I'm not saying is right. But I really came at it like... I don't care what you say. You're like, that's what you're going to say to me? Thank After you, all, that's right. what you're going to say like, to well, me? well, I'm already on this path. Why not just keep going? And that point in my life, I remember that was when I was like, I have nothing else to lose, you know? So she only got deeper into adult content at that point, but that was only until something really unexpected happened. After years of doing adult work, she said that she decided to give it all up in order to pursue a relationship with Jesus. I am now giving it all up for Christ. I am now truly a believer, I would never take it back. God radically saved me from this darkness. She was baptized, she deleted her OnlyFans account, and she got rid of all of her designer clothes and expensive purchases. But here's where some people are starting to get a little skeptical. You may be wondering if her motivation to leave everything behind and to follow Jesus was simply to get her parents back in her life and to make them proud. I mean, it's clear from listening to her that she missed her parents a lot and she wanted nothing more than for them to embrace her with open arms, thankful that she finally came to see the light. But then this happened. In my mind, I, I expected this change to be like the prodigal son returning, you yeah, know? Yeah. In my mind, I was like, I hope that's something like what it's like to return home whole and not, not whole. He didn't come back whole. He came back broken, yeah, yeah. you know? But, and then he comes back to his home, you know, where he belongs and got an amazing welcome. I'm and not had a delicious a fatted calf. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. And I wanted that, but it did not happen at all. And it, it kind of broke my heart a little bit. But With I either of your parents, it didn't happen. Mm -mm. So even though she's now at a place where her parents always wanted her to be, it seemed that they were still uncomfortable with her past. And even though, of course, she's very disappointed, she said, But it's okay, you know, it's okay. I think God does things like this sometimes because when we come to God, he wants us to see if we truly want him or if we've come to him as a means to get something else, a way to get the idol that we really want, the God of our hearts rather than him. This could be us coming to God only as a way to feel better about ourselves or to get a promotion at work 
or for him to help us find a spouse or really anything else other than God. Whatever it is in our heart that says, if I just had that thing, then I would be whole and happy. That's the functional God of our hearts. And in this case, it could have been acceptance from her parents once again. But she said, ever since she's met God, this is what's been happening. I am so thankful that God truly met me where I was because I now feel emotions. Like it was crazy. Like the minute I, God met me in my living room, I started feeling. Like it was crazy because it was a phenomenon of years and years and years of being numb and then feeling alone. And I, it was like a puzzle piece with a piece missing. And that piece was like the best part of it, you know, like the actual heart of it was gone. And I had this moment with God where I was like feeling all of this. And I was sobbing in my living room sobbing. This was after I had met Jordan, before we became boyfriend and girlfriend, but I was at my wits end. I had everything around me. I lived in a 4,200 square foot home, which was like $3.5 million. I drove a Porsche. I had any designer bag that you could want. I have a ginormous closet. I have everything. How much money do you have at this point? At this point, I had grossed $9 million. That is a lot of money. Yeah. But man, that was the biggest point of all of this was like money doesn't matter. It did not bring me true joy. Like you can be happy, like oh I just got a new bag, cool, but that's not joy. Like the joy yeah. that the Lord gives you is like well one he says it's your strength, but the joy that I have now is nothing compared to worldly happiness. Like worldly things will tell you like, oh, you need these things truly, which is crap. Materialistic things are crap. You know, yeah. for me, that's how I feel. This is the tough truth that all Christians will eventually come to realize. Christ said that in this life, we will have trials and tribulations. We aren't promised a better or an easier life when we become Christians, but we are promised something far greater. And that's the point of the gospel, isn't it? It's because we gave the ultimate spot in the heart to other things other than God that they're destroying us. They can't do what only a relationship with God can do because we were made for a relationship with him. And it's because God loved us too much to just sit back and do nothing that he decided to punt on human flesh and came from heaven to earth in order to die for us so that way we could finally be in a right relationship with him and if we make him the ultimate lover of our souls what he created us for then even if we lose everything and everyone in this life we can still know that we'll be okay since we already have everything that we need even if everything on the outside crumbles around us in the midst of the greatest tragedies if we make god the thing that our hearts truly desire more than anything else, then we can have his joy that gives us strength no matter what circumstances that we find ourselves in. And the key to making this more of a reality in your life is not loving any of those other things less. Instead, we just need to love him more and then everything else will fall into place. So make sure you pray for her and her new walk and pray that God will use her life for his glory as he sees fit. And by the way, YouTube thinks that you like this video the most. so. Let's see if they're right. If you find yourself only using God in order to get anything other than God, what are you going to say? What do you mean?